Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to grab a bite to eat at a place known for their 50 burgers and 50 beers. And we invite you to join us on this episode of The Walker Chronicles. So we stopped in at Sicky's Garage, which is down the way from the Pinball Hall of Fame. And Sicky's is known for their 50 burgers and 50 beers. They have quite an extensive menu, appetizers, chicken wings, uh, like I said, 50 burgers, and they come in Angus and Wagyu style. Their chicken wing menu is really, really long. It comes with anything from a Thai peanut to a wildly willy sauce to a hell's fury and of course they all come in different temperatures and for those of you who love breakfast they have breakfast burgers that are served all day and they even have a victory lap challenge where you basically finish your food in 60 minutes and you win a t-shirt for our appetizer we decided to get the pretzel fries they're french fry sized pretzel sticks served warm with beer cheese dipping sauce. They look fantastic as you can see. Let's give them a shot. The pretzels are so nice and warm. You see there's a little bit of salt on them. These are incredibly soft pretzel sticks. I mean incredibly soft. Just a hint of salt which is good because a lot of times they put way too much salt. The beer cheese is really good. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic appetizer. I would totally get this again. Of course, the problem is there's about 20 other things on there that I actually want to try as well. But this is a home run right now. Tastes like, oh, they are really soft. Um, they're a little bit on the, on the oily, kind of greasy side. I don't know if you can see the shine on here. Um, but they're really soft. They smell really good. Some of this beer cheese on here. The beer cheese, it is very good, but I will say those little packages of cheese and crackers with the red sticks, that cheese, kind of reminiscent of what we had at Knott's Berry Farm uh, for one of the festivals, it's very reminiscent of that. It is very good, I would say, better than the one we had at Knott's, um, and you don't have that strong beer taste, so I'm loving it though. Highly recommended from uh, Chris and I. I opted for the Mozzarati. It's a tasty all new Italian model. It's got deep fried cheese curds, marinara, melty mozzarella cheese on a delicious burger patty. And for my sides, I went for the classic tater tots. And I'll tell you, you can see, they give you quite a bit of tater tots or fries on your sides. It looks delicious. Let's give them a shot and see how they taste. Due to the size of this burger and the fact that it's got a lot of uh, marinara sauce on it, I'm gonna cut in half and make it a little easier to uh, take a bite out. So you can see here the, uh, the beef patty, you can see the cheese curds, you can see some of the marinara sauce. It actually looks delicious. Let's give it a shot. That's, um, that's really good. When I saw the ingredients, it seems that the ingredients lend itself more to a, a chicken sandwich, more of a chicken parmesan style burger. But it actually works with the beef. And one of the nice things, they did ask how I wanted my burger cooked. I ordered it medium rare, so it wasn't going to be well done. It tastes great. The cheese curds have a little crunch to them, a little tougher texture than the regular melted mozzarella. The beef patty's good. The marinara sauce adds a little tanginess to it, a little tomatoiness. It's actually really good. I haven't had a tater tot yet, but they look extra crispy. 
So far, this is fantastic. Let's give a uh, tot a try. So the tots are really crispy on the outside, really fluffy inside. It's, uh, it's a perfect tater tot. Yeah, this is a really good meal. Um, just like I said on the appetizer, I would get this again after I tried a bunch of other options that are on the menu. But yeah, so far this is fantastic. So I opted for Siki's signature half pound Wagyu burger. I ordered the classic and the classic burger is a Wagyu beef patty with lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and American cheese, and is $17.99. With any of the burgers, you also get a side, which can be anything from french fries, sweet potato fries, tater tots, carrots and celery. You can't do a Wagyu classic burger. Well, you can't do all the specialty stuff well either, so it's pretty big. I also am gonna cut this in half and uh, see what it tastes like. I did ask for this burger, uh, medium rare, and you'll see it, it does have a perfect cook. Looks amazing. Let's give it a shot. The beef in this burger, wow, super flavorful. That Wagyu beef flavor just is like a punch in the face in a really good way. So yeah, give me another punch. The lettuce and the tomato, there's not too much of it, so that beef flavor really comes through. And uh, I haven't gotten to the pickle yet, but I'm sure it'll just add more as far as layering of flavors. Um, I'm gonna love this, and I'm gonna give Chris some too, because he has to try this. I ordered the sweet potatoes as a side, and uh, let's see what they taste like. Nice and crunchy on the outside, really creamy on the inside, and nicely salted, um, not overcooked, not undercooked. Um, this is a really proper sweet potato fry. I'm loving this combination here, and uh, I need to get back to this burger because the taste of the beef, incredible. All right, so Marina won't stop talking about how amazing this burger is and how the beef tastes. So we've moved the plate over to my end, and I'm gonna give it, take a bite over here. Wow. That, that beef is uh, on a totally different level. So my burger is really, really good and the beef is really good, but that meat on this Wagyu burger is just a big leap in taste. It's got so much more flavor to it. I didn't know what I was missing until I took that bite. So I don't know if you can upgrade any of the burgers to the Wagyu beef, but if you can, I would definitely recommend it. It's really, really good. All right, guys, we just finished our meal and that was amazing. Yes, it was. If you are a burger lover, we know this is a little off the strip. It's not far, but uh, this is a place that you need to come visit. It is at the Town Park Square and fairly close to the uh, Pinball Hall of Fame. So you can get both of those in at one shot. Mm -hmm. But this place, their burgers are amazing. We did not try their wings and they do have an extensive menu for their wings. So that will be next time. But what do you think, Chris? It was fantastic. I am totally down to coming <laughs> back here, even maybe even during this trip. We'll have to see how that works out though. All right. So highly recommend this on our list. And if you get a chance to uh, stop by, make sure you do because you won't regret it.